Well, let's have a look at this today. What we've got is a, a watch back remover, whatever you want to call it. That's what I call them. Now, I thought I'd get one of these cheaper ones. Um, they're only a few quid on Amazon to uh, have a look at and see if they're any good. And I can tell you, we'll start from the beginning. When it arrived, it's in a nice little box like this. Well, I thought to myself, that's pretty nice, you know. Shouldn't be too much wrong with that. Until I heard it rattling. And I thought, uh, I bet all the little bits are everywhere and, you know, roaming around in the box, which they were. So, they haven't done a very good job. Alright, they've made a little box. They have made a little box. Um, and they've even gone to the effort of putting some foam padding in there to try and keep things together. But it hasn't really worked. Because when if you turn this upside down, or move it about, all of these little bits come out and flap about inside there which obviously then you have to pick them up so it hasn't really worked so that's <laughs> design flaw number one for the case um, and I have just given it a go I know I've just given it a go trying to take the back off of my watch or right. my watch isn't the best of watches um, it's just an ordinary kind of watch pretty uh, a cheapo watch I use it for work you know it's it's uh, well, I say cheaper, it was a couple of hundred quid, but that was a few years ago. So, I probably wouldn't really want to scratch it too much. It wasn't scratched until I tried to use this little tool, this cheap tool. Now, the, the ones that I usually use to change my battery, let's see if we can get a focus on that scratch, the scratching. For some reason, it won't want to focus on it. There we go. It's pretty scratched up now. Uh, which I'm not too bothered about, but if you was gonna, if you've got a nice watch and you're buying this cheapo kit, and you think to yourself, "Oh, I saved myself a hundred pounds in a jeweler's to get the battery changed," now I'll just pay about eight pound, eight quid, and get myself this little um, little tool, and I'll better change the battery myself. Don't get this one. Spend about thirty or forty quid on a decent one. Um, I was trying to find my proper one. Um, to, to, to show in comparison, but I can't find it anywhere, so I can't show you it, but spend a bit of money, because this one, the little pieces, they don't work, they don't really fit, well at least they don't on my watch, um, if you can see, if my camera will ever focus, you've got little indents here, little groove things, whatever you want to call them, little cutouts, and that's where you, you find the right one, so, for example, now we would need the square one. There's a square one here. It should be three of each one. You've got round ones, triangle ones. I don't know what... I've never seen a watch with um, that shaped one. But anyway, you find the right ones you want, and then you put them in these little holes, and then you tighten it up, and it gets a grip on your on the back of your watch, and then you pull it off. But they don't. none of them fit. Um, I've only been able to try the square ones, obviously, because the triangle ones ain't going to fit in there, and the round ones aren't going to be any good. I did try the round ones, just to see if they would get a grip on there, even though there's, there's square cutouts. But it won't work. It's because they're very, very poorly um, designed. Very, well, not designed, very poorly made, I suppose. There we go, look. Now, that's not damaged. That's how it was. I haven't snapped that off or anything. That is how it came. Like that. That's how it came. Come on, you little camera. So, it may be cheap, but the thing is, you do get what you pay for, and you get, you know, very bad quality, especially with this little kit. So that's, you know, one thing. And also, I did notice that the shaft, the um, bit of stud, what turns, when you turn this handle, that turns, there's like, that's threaded. And it that's also threaded in there. And that moves this one in and out, so you can position it, and you can tighten it up to get the grip like that on the back of the watch. It's actually bent. So that when you try and turn it, it jams up, and then it goes loose again, then it jams up again. And if you watch it go round, it's bent. So we've got very bad quality all around, really. There's not really any kind of good quality, just anything to say about this kit, I'm afraid. 
you know, I wish I could, and I, I when I bought it, it looked all right on the pictures, and I thought to myself, well, maybe this won't be too bad, you know. You, you should always be wary of cheap things, especially if they're from China, because although China is all right for making stuff cheap, it doesn't really do justice, you know, because the quality is usually really bad, really bad, usually. And this is, it might be made from metal, but it's, fair enough, look, I can, I can say, if we can have a look at it, because this camera hates focusing in this lighting, but if we can ever get a look, see, look, the finish on that isn't too bad. The finish on that is actually all right. See, there's no burrs, there's no sharp edges, there's nothing that could cause a real problem. The only thing is it doesn't work. That studded rod in there is bent. This one is all right, that moves in and out okay, but this one is definitely bent. Um, and it just won't get a grip because those things are very badly made. Uh, the case is made of plastic. And it doesn't, uh, well it does, it kind of does a little bit, it does clip on, but it's very loose. Things fall out everywhere, it's got plastic hinges, they'll snap after a while. So if you're going to, for the £8, I think it was £8, it might be more than £8, I think it was £8. I suppose you are, you shouldn't expect too much quality. Uh, but you definitely don't get quality, that's for sure. And it didn't even work, I couldn't open the back of the watch. So effectively it's a waste of money because it wasn't, doesn't even do the job. All it does is scratch up your watch, and then you, uh, well, you're gonna have to take it down to the jewelers anyway and pay the bill, and you got damaged watch as well. Whereas if you was to go to the jewelers to pay the 100 pounds, or whatever it is, to get your watch done. I know to get the battery changed on this watch, which isn't even an expensive watch. Um, it's about 10 or 12 years old now, this watch, if we can have a look at it. Um, it's not a, a Rolex or any expensive watch. Um, it's 50 quid was the last time I went and inquired just to have the battery changed in the back of this watch in the jewelers. And I know Rolexes and other expensive watches are upwards of £100 uh, to get the batteries changed because of the waterproofness and then they have to send them off or if, they ha or if they've got the facility they have to test them and everything to make sure they're still waterproof and all this kind of rubbish. So, you know, you, it's a tricky one, but as far as this product goes, no good. Don't buy it. It's no good, unfortunately. So there we go. A rather unfortunate and, if I'm honest, disappointing uh, review. Because I really was expecting this at least to work. I was expecting it to be bad quality, but I was expecting it to work. It's a simple process to change a watch battery, but this didn't even manage the job. So, it's definitely a thumbs down for me on this product. If you have any products that you want me to review, please just contact me and I'll review them with all honesty. And if you want, I'll even give them a thorough hard test, depending on what the product is.